Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I will show you how to activate international market in Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Shopify.com, log in into our account and access our store. So sometimes when you actually are building your store and you notice that you can't ship to a specific region or to a specific market. Well, in this case, it means that you haven't set up your markets properly yet. Now, for us to do that, what we need to do first is we need to go to our settings at the bottom left here. So let's go ahead and click on settings here. And from here, we want to access markets. So go ahead and click on markets. Now, typically, depending on where you actually uh, put your store here, like for example, your store in Australia, and you set this up by default, the Australia uh, section or market here would be enabled or it's going to be active. Now, in this case, if you want to make sure that you actually ship to other countries or internationally, you need to enable the option here that says international or you need to create a new market like for example we want to go to international here so just to give you an idea these are the things that you need to change here like for example the language and domains now in this case if you want to change the domain here specifically to that uh, specific region like for example your store name dot com dot ca which is canada or au for australia if you want to do that you could go ahead and do that as well but in this case most of the time we don't uh, change this one but if you want to change the language as well you could go ahead and do that but for now we are going to retain the uh, default here now also you could set products and pricing for this specific uh, region like for example we also have the option here that says show prices to customers in their local currency like for example if you want to show a specific product in like well, peso you could go ahead and do that so just make sure that the show prices to customer in their local currency is enabled and they will be able to see the price itself on their currency now also you have the option to basically adjust the prices of the products that you have like for example if you want to increase the prices or the price of the products like for example there's going to be a two percent two percent increase of that specific for that specific product you just need to basically include the two percent here but if you don't want to do that, you could go and just include 0% here. Or if you change, if you want to change this to price decrease, you could also do that as well. Now, in here, you have the option as well to basically include or exclude products for a specific markets. Like for example, you aren't able to ship a aesthetic shirt for that specific market. You could go and click on that. And from here, click on exclude from market or include in market. So depending on what you choose here, you'll be able to customize which products actually appears on those specific markets. Now, let's just go back. Now, here we also have the duties and imports. Now, in this case, you'll be able to basically edit the taxes. Now, we all know that different regions or different countries have their own taxes and duties to, to basically adhere for. Now, in this case, uh, it is recommended that you adjust your duties and import taxes here. So, those duties or taxes depends on what region you want to. So, if you want to turn it on, just click on turn on and from there, you'll be able to edit uh, certain uh, collection duties and import taxes for that specific region as well. Now, we also have the shipping here. Now, uh, basically, editing your shipping here is really important. Like, for example, for Canada, if you want to edit your shipping here, you can go ahead and click on it and click on Manage and Shipping here. It's going to redirect you to that specific section on the shipping and delivery. And from here, you should be able to basically add rates. Like, for example, we want to basically add or create zones here. So first things first is you have to create your markets first before you create your zones here. So for example, if you already have your market, click on create zone. And from here, you should be able to easily choose a country. Like for example, we want to add more countries, regions, and markets. And from here, you should be able to choose or add more regions and markets. Like we said before, we need to first edit our basically our markets first before we'll, we'll be able to edit our uh, shipping zones here. But for now, let's just focus on markets. Now, in here, let's just go back international. And from here, we also have the payments and taxes. So if you want to add it or basically edit the taxes here, just click on manage and you'll be able to add or edit the taxes for that specific region. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on edit variants here or even show all other countries. From there, you could, you could basically click on it and you'll be able to change their uh, taxes. Like for example, Australia, collect GST here and a lot more. Now, let's just go back into markets again. 
Now in this case, we want to go back to International. We also have the payment methods here. If you click on manage here, it's going to load up another page wherein you'll be able to see how or uh, what are the payments available here. So for some countries, Shopify payments will be available. So setting up your payments is really important here. But if you already set this up, uh, we could go ahead and go to the next step. Now, once you set up all the necessary details here, what we need to do next is we need to click on the app right here, which includes the active or inactive status. So since we want to start using it, just click on active here. And from there, just click on save at the top right and you should be able to basically update your settings here. Now, if you want to create a new market, just click on add market at the market page here. And from here, same thing, you just need to basically edit or choose the following settings. Like for example, we want to say this is for Asia. So just say type in Asia here and you could go ahead and start using or selecting uh, Asian countries here. Like for example, maybe we want to say all of Asia here, click on add market. And once you've done that, it's going to load up another page wherein, again, you'll need to basically configure the same settings. But once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on the status here. So this market can be activated because 40 country regions are missing in shipping rates. So if you want to uh, basically activate this, you need to add shipping rates here. Just click on add rates here. And from then, you should be able to activate this one once you've adjusted all of those settings. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.